What's up, guys? Somebody on uh, uh, Low Stinger Facebook uh, page a while back asked for uh, they asked for uh, somebody to do a boat tour, or for everybody actually to start doing boat tours to show how everybody has their boats set up and all that good stuff. So uh, I was fiddling with the boat a while ago. Uh, it's Friday. I'm gonna go fishing Saturday. I'm gonna go fishing uh, Sunday. So you know, got to get it ready. Just so I was just doing a little bit of piddling and uh, getting it ready for tomorrow. So we're gonna do a front to back tour on it real quick. Uh, this is a 2007 Low Stinger 175. Uh, got a Mercury 60 horse four stroke on the back. I'm really happy with it. Uh, fastest I've ever had it. I, I barely broke 30 miles an hour, but you know what? That's plenty fast enough for me. So let's get to it. Uh, on the front, 24 volt Minn Kota power drive with the iPilot. I don't even have a foot pedal for it. I, I just, I used to play in a band and for years and years, you know, 20 years, whatever, I was always, I played guitar and sang. And so I was always, I was always trapped on foot pedals. Always, if, if, if you play guitar, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I didn't, I just didn't want a foot pedal. So uh, this thing being 24 volt, it's 70 pounds thrust with the iPilot. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Now granted, I may be missing out not having a foot pedal, but who knows, I like it. Uh, over here, hopefully all this is gonna be in frame. Uh, over here is a set of trailer steps. I literally just went down there at the bottom of the hill. That's where my scrap pile is. Uh, this is just old steel from sign stuff that I do. And uh, dug it out, got the welder out, little Hobart, got it out cutting wheel made some steps <laughs> they're great uh, let's walk around here for real quick uh, my navigation lights for the front these are just uh, LED light strips from uh, eBay I put them on our kayaks too and they worked really well so I put them on here um, front graph Garmin 93 SV uh, and it's networked to the back 93 SV with a uh, breezy box. Um, it's way cheaper than the Garmin box and works just as well. And like I said, it's like a hundred bucks cheaper. Uh, I do have live scope. Here's live scope pole, homemade. That's just a C size, uh, C size Ram mount. And then, P you know, you guys have seen the videos on YouTube. It's just PVC and all that nonsense. Um, did the wiring on this front one put it in a rod sock just so it was a little bit nicer and i did a, a little hatch right here this is a temptress hatch and it's got four little tackle trays built in it adds another spot to store your tackle but also if you want to pull it out and get up under there to work on anything it's real easy to do uh front hatch let's see standard front hatch life jackets anchor rain suit all that crap uh, this butt seat came with the boat i don't have any idea what brand it is or any of that but i like it i leave it right there i really don't even use it that much uh, we got rod holders on each side those are uh god what brand i think they're yak attack i stole those from my kayak too uh, coming back here, you got, there's the front live well, and I'm going to put some B-roll in now and show you what the LEDs in it look like at night. Poof. Back at the dash, here's the dash, the fancy dash, 15 year old dash. This, I know this is, I know that's ugly, I know it's really ugly, but I was in a hurry and it works great so <laughs> it is what it is here's my other uh garmin 93 i did redo my dash um, it was cracked and the switches were all jacked up so when i rewired my boat last uh last winter i went ahead and just redid the dash all these switches are from a company called uh they're from new wire marine 
see if I can get a decent close up. Uh, they light up, they work really well. And then the live well timer, obviously it's, you turn the live well on, then you off one, two, three, four, or one, three, seven, I guess. That's the timer. The seats, I don't think those are low seats. I don't think that they came when the boat was new, uh, but they're fine, they work for me. The little console, obviously that's plywood that I built. I just got a couple cup holders at Academy and some plywood and, oh, there's a glove stuck to it. So that's all my junk, trolling motor, keys, cords, floats, bait, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and now it's not closing. What'd I do? Ah, screw it. All right, moving on back. Rear live well, same as the front. The back hatches. I've got my my thumper right here. I made I made this thumper. It actually it works really well. You just take these and hook them up to the battery and then turn it on. And uh, it hasn't helped me catch any fish, but it works. Uh, just a cardboard box with a bunch of this is some Jinko tackle that I got. This stuff this uh, Jinko tackle the two inch funky chicken. This is a good one for crappie. Let's see, there's my 60, 60 horse Merc. I had the, had the lower, uh, lower unit rebuilt here recently and man, it, it's, it's like a dream now. Other side, just junk, tackle, buoy marker. These are awesome for cleaning those fish finder screens. And then you got that old net came with the boat too. And the rod locker, just regular old rod locker. It's my lose, my little short lose combo. I use it for slip bobber, bait caster. Uh, that's a 13 fishing. I'm, this is a pretty good reel, but I don't know about this rod. This is a ACC crappie stick. This is my favorite rod. It's a 10 foot rod with a lose reel. Uh, Ava Garcia uh, pole, the reel gave out on it, so I put a lose on there too. Then uh, over here you can see uh, I took some starboard that I had extra and made a little mount for my pliers and grippers and my hook remover and then a little tackle towel. Then my, uh, my little tackle net, that's just from Amazon, nothing special. Uh, then those, all them little boxes right there are full of bonehead tackle. So if you're, if you're a crappie guy, you know, you know what bonehead tackle is. Those, those dudes make some killer stuff. Uh, as far as the, the outside of the boat, it's just, uh, flat dark earth or whatever you want to call this color i took the uh i took the stock decals off and did all this i i own a sticker company so i mean it's it's one of those deals that it you know if you can do it you might as well do it here's the other side looks looks just like the other side then over here not that it's part of the boat but this is what I tow it with my Jeep matches my boat so there it is quick tour man get out there and catch you some fish I'm sure gonna try this weekend <laughs>